Hi everybody, Sketch Card Hive here again. Today, we got a crazy reveal for you. As you've noticed in the thumbnail, checking it out, Dimitri Patelis, Marvel Masterpieces 1995 artist, one of the Marvel Masterpiece artists, I got a commission from him. I, I've been doing this for a while where I've been commissioning Marvel Masterpiece artists uh, for sketch cards. And I have a sketch card today from him of well, someone you might know, it's actually Surfer. You expected it, yeah, it's, it's it's Surfer. But I'm excited to check it out. On my screen here, you can see, I got this being blocked by an XL Marvel Masterpiece card, which I'll do a little review on those to, in a little bit. But I wanna jump in here. I'm gonna start pulling this open here so you don't see the address. Here we go, he put it in a uh, box. This is not part of that company over there. But if you don't know uh, Dimitri, um, you're missing out. Uh, how can I explain this? He is one of the greatest Marvel Masterpiece artists out there. He is a piece of legacy in Marvel card land. His art is stuff you've grown up with. Uh, you know it, you've seen it. It's just very cool work to see and you've seen some across the screen. Some of these cards are some of the most iconic cards in Marvel, camp, Marvel card history. So uh, without further ado, let's get in here and check it out. So, <laughs> very cool. So we get a little bit of his book here, which I'm actually really excited he sent this to me. He didn't have to send this to me. Um, he does amazing creatures, monsters. If you don't know this artist again, get with it. Check it out on Facebook. Look at his stuff. Websites galore. All that stuff will be in the uh, description stuff and on the screen as you can see now. But I'm just too excited not to see this card here. So we're going to go there. We're going to get this out of the way. So this is out of the way. That's there. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's make sure we got a good look at this. Realm of Perpetual Creatures, very cool. So this is taped on here. We're gonna go ahead and remove that on this side. Read this book, very much so. If you see me, I'm being very careful because I'm not entirely sure how it's in here. Oh. <laughs> So cool! Here's the website. As you can see, I had it on screen before, but there you get the beautiful business cards. So there you are. You go. So that's awesome. Venom, amazing. Uh, so just a very cool. Love this book. This is awesome. I'm so excited to have this. Let's check this out. Keep this on screen here. But uh, I'm kind of too excited. I want to see. Amazing creations, amazing person to talk to too. Very, very uh, much someone in the community who is very present, very around, you can speak to. So iconic, so iconic. Um, but that's pretty cool. And prelims, oh, you got prelims in here too. Harley and Catwoman. Um, very cool, so we have that, put that off to the side. Okay, so let's get started here. So we have this over here. We've got this guy here. I need to open this and I am the worst. We've got our handy dandy uh, razor blade here <laughs> to open up this package. So we can uh, get this card and see what's going on here. Um, so I've seen progress shots of this. I have not seen an actual, actual picture of this, so I'm, I'm excited to make this as real for me as possible. I'm trying to open it gently. He is a master at packing cards, so I am not worried one bit on how this looks or how organized and everything like that is. Um, if you're interested in contacting this artist, I would. <laughs> I would get a commission. I would check him out. Um, it's very much gonna be worth your time. So we got some blue tape here. If you're not someone who does a lot of commissions, if you don't know this world too much, basically Marvel Cards is a space where sketch cards exist. And what's been happening for a very long time is that when artists do sketches for a company, they'll get something called an AP. And an AP is something that allows them, if they've been on the set, to go ahead and do work via commission. So if someone would contact them, a collector and say, hey, what would be your price on an AP? How many APs do you have? And they only get a, a small amount. 
So usually every 10 cards gets you one AP for an artist. Um, what I've been doing with Marvel Masterpiece artists or any artist who's had a Silver Surfer in a Masterpiece is that I go ahead and get um, something like this. This is Isad Rivik, Rivage, I believe is how you say it. And he has a surfer in this Marvel Masterpiece. He did not do sketches for this set. So this is um, on a official stock. So it's not an AP stock because I couldn't find one because they don't exist from 2007. So this is technically an aftermarket, not an official AP. Official APs are APs done by artists who worked on the sketch cards and their APs came from their hands. Okay, so this is just like a passion project of mine. Um, none of these will be for sale. These things will kind of just disappear when I disappear. But um, uh, if you do sell these things, which I don't suggest you do, I think when you do a commission, it's a private thing. It's a thing for you, but you collect how you want to collect. But if you do do that, please state this in eBay. Let people know. Uh, people who are buying these things should do their research and should have some knowledge of what are the official artists of these sets and what are the unofficial artists of sets. But it's very hard to keep track with all of that all the time. So if you do do something like this and you sell for whatever reason, be sure to put that in the eBay listing because otherwise it is very kind of sketchy. Okay. So there you go. Isad Rubik, Ribbage. Hopefully I'm saying that right. He's one of my favorite artists. He did Silver Sepher Rec Room, which is one of the best um, stories of Silver Surfer ever. If you haven't read it, read it. It's basically the death of Silver Surfer. Spoiler alert. Not really. It says it on the book. But it's really great. But there's Surfer. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the first commissions I ever had. And um, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. So without further ado, I keep getting distracted here because that's the Fausto way. Um, this is, this is pretty cool and exciting, man. Right? He taped it up very securely, which I would expect nothing less. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm so glad I did that upside down. This is great. So glad that happened. Let me see if I can get some more light on this so we can really look at it, okay? All right. Okay, perfect. A little light for me has gone away a little bit, but all right. So now we got this situated. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right. Um, you know what? Let's take it out of the case too. Let's do this right. Let's let's not let's not half. You know, do this halfway here. Um, so he draws in paints. I believe this is paints uh, as well. I should have asked him what was the medium he used, but. This is a blank I purchased um, that I've had with me, and it's the 07 Marvel Masterpiece. Now, why am I doing this on the 07 Marvel Masterpiece? Well, Dimitri was never on official sketch card stock, unless I'm wrong about that. And if I am wrong about that, it probably would have been this stock, which I think I am wrong. I have to look it up. But it's the first Marvel Masterpiece uh, stock, sketch stock. So he's a Marvel Masterpiece artist, so makes sense right the connections there the patterns there worked for my collection um but here we go without final without uh, any further delay <laughs> that's awesome oh that is sick so there's airbrushing in this i believe god i hope i'm not mistaken there but this is phenomenal Well, this is really cool. Really, really, really cool. So good to see the surfer, to see Norm Rad there, staring off into the cosmos with that very Harold look. You know, that that inner turmoil, that, that, that kind of deep thought of wondering what's going on in the cosmos, what injustices are prevailing. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's beautiful. Look at those purples. And I love, so on a regular scotch uh, stock, you have just a blue kind of at the top and artists do this really beautiful thing where they use that blue and merge it with the actual image. Um, it's, it's pretty sick. So I love it a lot. 
Um, so there's Dimitri's, I have a Simone, which is just really beautiful as well. Um, the Dimitri's is there, and of course I have a Bill Sinkovich, which I'm very happy to own. Just love this card. But there you go, Dimitri's added to the collection. Ah, oh, yes, beautifully added to the collection. Well, this is awesome. Thank you all so much for joining me. I have to put this bad boy in a one touch and uh, kind of organize this and scatter it for the next hour. So that's gonna be what I'm doing <laughs> for the day. But thank you all so much for joining me. Um, let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite Marvel Masterpiece artist? What sketch card are you thinking about getting? Do you have a commission uh, coming around? Any artist that I may know or an artist that exists in the Marvel card world or any world really? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll catch you all later. Bye everybody.